What is up, guys? Kind of ACG here today, doing a deck profile of Lost March. This is pretty good. Um, I tore it apart before, and it's still not my favorite, but it seems a little bit more consistent with this list. And maybe I'm a little bit bandwagon because it did really well in Roanoke. It top aided after going literally nine and zero in the first day of Swiss, and then it gives top 8. So, you know, maybe I'm a little bit bandwagon, but with this list, it's actually not that bad. I still don't think it's going to be a very good, like, I still think it's one of the top decks, but I think it's a good competitive deck. My problem is, it loses to Grand Bull pretty easily, it loses to Executor pretty easily, it loses to Malamar if they know what they're doing. Um, really, like, if they know what they're doing and they're not playing like Blacephalon or Buzzwolf, it's pretty easy um, to beat. That's why I don't like it. Um, it's also a little bit inconsistent. I'm going to ramble way too much. For Hoppip, you want to use this Hoppip because it has 40 HP. Other one might seem better, but if you get jet punched, you're screwed. So that's why you play that one. Uh, for Skip Loom, um, Quick note about the card, you have to actually succeed in getting the jump bluff before it goes to the lost zone. So you can't immediately put it in the lost zone when you skip loom. Or, I mean jump bluff. Also, it uh, lost zones everything attached to it. Because I know one of my friends was playing it where he would like tackle you for like 60. But he didn't realize that the grass and choice band go in the lost zone. So he was playing it. Kinda wrong, because he was trying to chip away at, like, Zoroark's prematurely, but he didn't know that they, that stuff went away. Um, and then, Jump Luff does 20 times the number of your non-Prism Star Pokemon that are in the Lost Zone. Be careful not to count your Ditto, because if you take a prize card and stuff happens, you'll get in trouble. Uh, for Trumbeak, I love Trumbeak because it's disruptive and it helps your deck out a lot. Basically, it's, it, this is the closest thing to what Pokemon has for a hand trap. Um, basically, you reveal it if it's in your hand, you look at their, your opponent's top deck if it's a supporter, lost zone it, and then you put Trumbeak in the lost zone no matter what. Um, ooh, gunshots. I love when my neighbors are shooting guns. Um, 3 not 2 similar attack to Jump Luff except it's the DCE, but it's still lost march and it's a sucky type, which means it hits a lot of stuff for weakness. 3 Marsh at it, which seems kind of wacky, but if you just need to disrupt your opponent and get going yourself, it's pretty good. Um, 2 Oranguru to use and instruct. Um, yeah. And then a Lele for Water Tag to get your Lilies. Um, and other supporters, it's not bad. Basically, it's a lot more consistent. I wish it had like a Ditto and a Muck, because I know. Like, that's my preference, is a Ditto and a Muck, but that's just me. Um, so I guess I kind of lied. I said you would get in trouble if you kind of Ditto for Lost March. If you're playing Ditto, that is, this doesn't. I, for some reason, thought it did, but seeing the actual list, it makes sense it doesn't. I still think Ditto's good, though. Ditto and Muck. Maybe my choke. Um, three Lily, because it's good, and you get turn one stuff a lot quicker. 3 Cynthia for Shuffle Draw, 3 Elm just to get your basics out, um, this has a lot of ball cards and a lot of Pokemon, a lot of basics, so you can um, do either, but the thing is Elm can actually get you your um, Skip Loom, which is kind of the thing, you actually want a Lily most of the time turn 1, and Elm second turn, um, which seems weird, but it works. And then 3 Yuzma, because you want to pick out what you want off your opponent's bench. Uh, for a Great Bull, which again seems weird, but you just need to get out your Pokemon, so it kind of makes sense. 3 Ultra Ball, because you don't want to discard a lot of stuff, but you want to get out your Pokemon. 3 Net Ball, basically you can get either Grass Energy or Hop Hip, so it's pretty cool. It's sort of like Nest Ball. Uh, 3 Lost Blender, another consistency card that I really like in the deck. Um, puts cards into the Lost Zone and draws 2 cards. 2 Rescue Stretcher because you want to be able to attack, so Rescue Stretcher is pretty good. Um, 4 DCE is to attack with Natu, or yeah, Natu, 
and then three grass to attack with jump off, and then super boost to attack with jump off. But if you're against Shuckle, you can super boost and knock out the Shuckle. Um, so yeah. Do you like and subscribe to Oh, one quick thing. Super boost argument is they can just e hammer it and get screwed again. What you can do is you can Guzma around them. Basically, if they have something besides the shuckle in their in play, you can Guzma around them. If they don't, you can use your super boost and win the game because they don't have anything on your bench. So, I get the argument that oh the hop can hammer, but I also disagree because you want to use super boost to close out the game most of the time. Um, unless you know it's their only shuckle and they won't be able to get it back and you just need to get rid of it. But most of the time, I would just say Guzma around it until you can't anymore and then super boost for the win. Um, yeah, this is Lost March. Um, I still think it should have Muck, but um, leave a like and subscribe to Caterpie CG for more Pokemon deck profiles um, like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.